Cantaloupe is the best melon, hands down. Come on, man. If you're getting watermelon. Have you tried this? Do you know what yeah, yeah, this Yes, I had a bite, man, and it's okay. You're crazy. Hello? Yes, this is Conrad. Really? Yeah, I'll be there as soon as I can. Thanks. Everything all right? No, I gotta go. Genetics 302 class for me on Friday. Yeah, sure. What's going on? Uh, I got a little trouble actually. My brother Hal's been drinking again. He's in the hospital. Oh, shoot, man. I'm really, really sorry. Thanks, yeah, Jeff. so you got to go to Vancouver and take yeah, care of him? We're leaving this afternoon. We're going to drive there. Just want to make sure you can take that class for me on Friday? Absolutely. No worries, man. Just go and take care of him. Perfect. Thanks, Kelly. No worries. Let's hit the road. As an identical twin, I've always been fascinated with genetics. I remember wondering as a child, how could it be that there was someone who was the exact same as me? But as me and my brother aged, differences emerged. He was always more outgoing, confident, while I was more shy and reserved. If we were carbon copies as everyone saw us, what made us less and less alike as we grew older? So you and your brother are twins, right? Yeah, identical. Does that mean you're pretty close? Not really. I haven't seen Hal in six years now. We've really drifted apart. What's he like? Hal's always been a lot more reckless than I am. I'm at the university, I'm thinking about my future. Hal's been drinking for 15 years now. That's why he's in the hospital with a failing liver. Well, I don't really get it. How can a set of identical twins turn out so differently? Have you ever heard of epigenetics? No, what's that? How should I explain this? Close your eyes for me. Seriously, close your eyes. Okay. Let's start with the basics. DNA. DNA is a coded sequence of nucleotides which are organized into genes. Genes encode the information which is necessary to develop your body and maintain it throughout your life. But there is more than just your genes. A second set of instructions, known as epigenetics, are able to activate or deactivate your genes. Epi means over, so taken literally, epigenetics means above your genetics. Chemical modifications, called epigenetic tags, can attach to DNA, turning them on or off, without permanently changing the genetic sequence. There are actually two types of epigenetic modifications. In the first, epigenetic tags are attached directly to DNA, blocking these genes and turning them off, as you just saw. The second is a little bit more complex. Epigenetic tags are attached to proteins known as histones, around which DNA is coiled. This makes genes inaccessible, turning them off. With me so far? I guess, but what does this have to do with twins? During fertilization, chromosomes from both your mother and father mix to create a single embryo. It's important to understand that epigenetic tags can be passed down from your parents, which means that you can benefit or suffer from changes that have already occurred to their epigenomes. The term epigenome describes all of the epigenetic tags which are stored on your genes. Identical twins are a product of a single embryo splitting into two identical copies, 
with each embryo possessing the exact same genome and epigenome. Still good? Yeah, but where do these epigenetic tags come from? Good question. When you are born, some epigenetic tags are passed down from your parents. But this is only part of the story, as your epigenome is constantly changed by your environment. Because identical twins share the same environment up until birth, their epigenomes are very similar. As they age, their genomes stay the same, but accumulated changes in their epigenome due to differing environments leads to differences between the twins. Diet is an example of an environmental factor which can affect one's epigenome. Stress is also known to be an important factor in shaping one's epigenome. Exposure to toxins, such as cigarette smoke or excessive alcohol, can also modify the epigenome. As the twins reach their senior years, the accumulated changes to their epigenomes, and therefore gene expression patterns, make these two identical twins unique. So, your brother's an alcoholic because of all these accumulated epigenetic changes? Sort of, yeah. Alright, well, how does it all start? I mean, what led him to pick up drinking in the first place? It's really complex. It's not about one thing leading to another. There are millions and millions of these changes occurring every day of your life. And the combined effect of these changes can lead to one to be prone to drinking or cancer or allergy, for example. Okay, so it's kind of like, say, nature versus nurture. Exactly. That term describes how everything you are is due to nature, your genetics more specifically, or nurture, which in this context can be thought to describe your epigenome. With twins, the nature part's the same. They're genetically identical. So any differences between the two can be thought to arise from the nurture part, or differing environmental effects on their epigenome due to the way they're raised. Do you understand? I, I think so. Okay. Try thinking about it in this way. Epigenetics was first described using the analogy of a landscape. If we imagine our genome as a landscape, accumulated epigenetic changes would shape it into accessible and unreachable areas. This landscape is constantly changing, however, with peaks and valleys existing in a dynamic state. One can't help but see the parallels as you drive from the foothills of Alberta to the Rockies of BC. Shaped by millions of years of environmental influence, these jagged cliffs and open flowing valleys mirror the accumulated changes to our epigenetics with repetitive conditioning allowing or preventing certain regions of our genome to be expressed. We are not able to change our underlying genetic sequence, but do possess an adaptive ability to change how it is expressed. The ability for mothers to pass down acquired epigenetic modification to their offspring has dramatic consequences to things like reproduction, adaptation, and even evolution. Identical twins provide us with a tangible model to understand how epigenetics work, but this process is at play all around us, in every living thing. Although there is a growing understanding of the mechanisms by which epigenetic changes affect gene expression, much work is still to be done before we understand this incredibly complex phenomenon. I'll keep you safe from fancy apps.